Degrassi. Some people steal money for their education, not drugs. Sav learns the word liar in French and more information about Claire's boobs. This is the review of Breakaway Part 2. I'm Carrie from DegrassiBlock.com and this is Degrassi The Boiling Point. Breakaway Part 2 gets off to a very disappointing start. Number one, it's been decided that Fiona's going to stay in Toronto, so it feels like the entire abuse storyline has been dropped just like that. Number two, this main plot features a desperate Holly J, whose panicky mentality just makes her look ridiculous and pathetic. Still obsessed with getting into Yale, because Holly J still equates that with being with Declan, her solution is to take an SAT prep course. The problem is, the course costs $2,000, which she doesn't have. But Fiona has money, and lots of it. Enough to buy a $4,000 piece of furniture and a plasma TV. And since Fiona doesn't care if Holly J knows the password to her bank account, Holly J decides to pay for the class with Fiona's money, but without Fiona's permission. When Fiona finds out, the sad part is that as desperate as Holly J is in this episode to take the class, Fiona is equally as desperate for friendship. So she instantly forgives Holly J, and it's like the last 30 minutes never happened. Compared to the main plots we've had so far and the potential that some of the upcoming storylines this season have, this plot is and will be completely forgettable, which is why it gets a grade of a D+. Subplot number one features President Sav and Anya reeling after their victory, but they've got this one little problem. What are they supposed to do now that the election is over, yet people still think they're having a baby? Sav, again, wants to tell the truth, but Anya effortlessly lies during the announcement and says that she had a miscarriage. Bummer. With that randomly out of the way, they're free to resume their relationship, a.k.a. make out on Sav's couch. But when Sav's mom unexpectedly returns home, things between Sav and Anya instantly revert back to the way they've always been. Sav not being honest with his parents about his relationship with Anya. Anya tells Sav's mom what they were really doing and informs her that it'll never happen again. So Sav goes back to being a coward and Anya goes back to being that girl who gets crapped on by the guy she loves. It's pretty ironic that Sav was willing to be honest with people about the fake pregnancy, but he just can't be honest about Anya when it counts. The end of Sonya means the end of this storyline for now, but it still gets an A-. minus. Now, Claire's subplot in Breakaway Part 2 is everything that it should have been, but wasn't in Part 1. Jenna, Casey, Dave, Wesley, and Connor still think that Claire got a boob job, but the guys want to know for sure. So they nominate Wesley to be the guy to find out if they're real. And I don't know what's funnier, Wesley grabbing Claire's boobs or Claire being silly enough to agree to let someone touch her eyes. The only thing that's tender is Jenna's ego after she realizes Claire got laser eye surgery and not a boob job. And the fact that Claire reminds her that she doesn't need a boob job in order to get KC back. But who needs KC when you've got a guy who pulls up in a hearse and is the first person to actually compliment Claire on her eyes? The introduction of new character Eli is the icing on the cake, giving this subplot an A+. Coming up on the next episode of Degrassi The Boiling Point, it's Riley vs. Drew, Allie vs. The Power Squad, and Jenna vs. Her Jealousy. For the latest Degrassi news, gossip, and more, you can always check us out online at DegrassiBlog.com. Yeah.